Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Manuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine animations. That's basically a run animation and a walk a cycle animation using the Copa add-on. So if you don't know what Copa add-on is, it is a blender add-on that allows you to quickly create rigs and animation. And this rig, since it's the rigify, it's quite standardized for games and animation. And you can also quickly apply several animations. The animation is reference from the one you can find on Mixamo. Okay, so you can check it out for yourself. It's um, well documented, um, documented with a lot of tutorials that you can work and start working with. So the link will be in the description in case you want to check it out. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to combine multiple animations. So um, you can go ahead and bring up your timeline. I'm going to switch this to my timeline and we can start animating. So um, you have a lot of libraries of animation, so you can switch to the one you want. I'm going to switch to locomotion. Here we can find like everything related to locomotion, falling, running, walking, jumping, and stuff like that. So um, basically we want to get from a walking animation to a running animation. So um, first of all, you want to determine, uh, before we go into that, let's, let me show you how um, you can apply animation. So once you've selected the animation which you want, you can just hit apply and it's going to retarget the animation. So this retargeting helps it to fit um, any character position. So if your character is in a, a pose, there's no problem. The animation will translate perfectly. If it's in a T pose or even a symmetrical pose, it's going to translate perfectly. So now you can see we have our just simple work cycle. And you have the ability to edit this using the animation layer to work with this. So same way you can go ahead to apply like run animations just by switching it and you can just apply it. Um, you also have ability to add animation on top of animations. So um, I can click on add animation and just apply the add animation and it adds animation. So what you will notice is at this point it comes back to the first position so to avoid that um, you want to create an animation cycle so for that you want to enable the stay in place um, checkbox here this allows you to just create animation cycles then you can make it as much as you want so um, now I can go ahead and apply the run animation I can see it's staying in place right now and we can click on add an, uh, another animation and it applies animation and, and the timeline adjusts accordingly so we have like the run animation in place and you can just edit this you can move this and animate this as you want okay so this tutorial is actually inspired from a question from one of the person that purchased this add-on he's using it for a project he wanted to know how to combine a work animation to a running animation um, so um, it's quite easy so um, you can just go ahead and search for work And you have everything related to work and get also note that if you click on all you you will have more options because it's going to reference um, more from superhero sports miscellaneous so if you want to get more um, working animations you can just use all well we can just use locomotion to select one quickly so I'm going to select this um, I'm just getting with normal work so I'm going to apply the animation and we have the work animation so I will also put the add animation and then do that. So depending on the length of the, you want the character to go, you can just add all the necessary animations and that is working for you. Okay, so now if you want to add run animation, it's as easy as locating the run animation. And now I'm just adding it and it's going to add it after the work animation. So you, at this point, you can even move the time like these keyframes in case you want to have like some, if you want to even add your own transition in the middle, um, that's quite easy to do. So we can add one more run animation. Okay, so for animated, for moving this, so it can, it's kind of moving forward, you can manually animate it yourself or you can use curves. Um, 
But for this, I'm just going to manually animate it. So I'm going to insert keyframe here. And at this point, this is where he's going to stop working. So just move it forward and we'll check to make sure it's looking natural. Um, to avoid it to start slow and kind of speed up, we want it to have like a linear motion. So we can click on T to set this to linear. So we have like constant speed. Okay, so at this point he starts running, so we'll end it at this frame, but he will have to cover longer distance to make up for the long frame. Also linear, so at this, we'll just test it out, make sure it's looking good. So we can increase this to even make it cover more speed. As you can see, we have it working nicely. So that's how you combine it and i'll just quickly touch on something cool you can uh, in case you want to add your custom animation on top of this um, it's as easy as selecting the rig and clicking on new layer and you just animate it on top of it so when it's here you want to first initialize the first the base keyframe and then you can just start animating so let's say we want him to look sideways inside keyframe So you can just add that on top of everything and here we want him to wave so once you're done you can just select this first keyframe and just place it here in case you want to go to the go back to the initial pose and then everything works so that's basically it um, you can also, once you want to export it, you just want to go ahead and bake it out. Um, so into one animation. So everything is pretty much set. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, let me know in the, in the comment. And check this out for yourself. This is a really powerful tool. And that will, be, that will really speed, speed up time for you and really save you a lot of time and money. Um, okay, so bye-bye for now. See you next time.